back at Springsbrook Stadium in Conway, South Carolina. It's day three of the Sunbelt Baseball Championships and our winner's bracket third round. And our first game in that side of the bracket as the number three seed, Little Rock Trojans, take on the number two seed, Georgia Southern Eagles. Both ways, he's a switch hitter. Slaps this one to left field. Alexander makes the catch. Here comes the throw to the plate. Going to be cut off, and Curry scores on the sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0 Georgia Southern. And Neos gets the strikeout. Shortstop out of Rincon, Georgia, nearby South Effingham High School. Swan going, swung on miss, and safe at second base. Stolen base as Thompson strikes out. So Swan now at second base with two outs. Got to be happy you got the oven mitt on here. You go head first. You see him dragging those hands in there. Imagine that being on that artificial turf. And Avant shoots that in the hole to right field. Here comes Swan racing around third base and sliding home. And there's where that oven mitt came. You saw where he had that hand positioned on the turf as he slid on home. Man, he looked good doing that, didn't he? Wow. Two nothing Georgia Southern. Watch he, how fast he's going. Well, he did it going around first base too to threaten him up there. And here's the slide to the plate. Oven mitt down. Score run. Got him. Nahas, strikeout number four. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Arnold. Breaking ball, Swan hits that one towards center field. It's going to drop, one run in. Two runs will score, and it's 4-0 Georgia Southern. A two-run single for Jason Swan, played in McWhorter and Martin. For the day. There goes Swan, great jump, goes to the backstop. Here comes Ledford, and he is going to be saved, 5 nothing. And Swan's going to take off and reach third base. Just the fact that Swan steals second base there may just distract the catcher enough or a pitcher to rush it to the plate as the ball gets by Padilla. Swan just walks into second base, then takes third, and Ledford able to find his way home now to get the extra run in a fifth. But the speed of Swan at first base and just the threat of him going may have caused that ball to get by the catcher. That ball is hit softly to the shortstop. They'll go two seconds. Safe there. Run scores. Swan touches the plate. It's 6 nothing. To the plate, he's lost the sunglasses here with the Oh, wow, he just lost that baseball, too. My goodness. Maybe he just needed to see it better. <laughs> Man, There's he the unloaded. Benavides, as we said before, the emotional leader looks in that dugout and said, okay, we got two back here. Let's keep fighting. Tenth home run of the season for Benavides and RBI number 37 and 38. An attitude about that. Line drive towards the gap, and that's going to fall for a base hit. Here comes McWhorter. He will score, and it's 7-2. to two. In the air. That should end the inning. Benavides, 1-2 pitch to Evans. On the infield, could be trouble, backhanded, throw by Lions, not in time. Infield hit, run scores, and it's 9-2. to two. Breaking ball, slow roller on the infield. Thompson charges, slings across, and got him. Gann scores on the play, and it's 9-3, to three, but they get the out at first. Kind of the die was cast for this Little Rock team when they had two errors in the first inning. Reyes throwing, won't get him, run scores. That was going to be a tough play for Reyes. And an RBI single for Avan, his second RBI of the game, and it's now 10 to 3. In the air, that should do it. Let's see who will take it. It'll be McWhorter and Georgia Southern. Has defeated Little Rock 10-3. The Eagles advance to the Saturday semifinals.
Coach, pitching, is, as always, is such a big thing that we always talk about. Joe Nahas on the mound tonight. What did you see from him? Well, he, he did a good job throwing strikes. Uh, and then finally got a little tired and a couple of walks there hurt him, but uh, gave us a great effort. Um, you know, he, he was very aggressive on the mound, and, and uh, that's what you want out here. And, and when we got him the lead, he did a good job pitching with the lead. Um, you know, because they're explosive. I mean, they, they're, they're dangerous over there. So uh, great effort from Joe, and I thought Cole Whitney did a nice job behind him. For you all offensively, really able to take advantage of Little Rock's miscues. So overall offensively, how do you kind of assess your play? Well, you know, we, we took advantage of some free bases, obviously, but, but we were able to get runners in when we needed to and, uh, you know, make some things happen. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job on, on the bases today, so, uh, you know, a good effort overall. Moving forward, obviously you get to take a little bit of a break tomorrow. How important is that at this point in a, in a championship format like this? Well, it, it's huge to, to get that day off, get your legs back underneath, and, and obviously to rest your pitching staff and, and get guys ready to go for the next one.